The thing that uh, I think is most indicative of the satisfied, successful retiree is that person who has a reason to get up in the morning, has meaning in their life. So as a result of that, they are engaged as they're doing things. They do find enrichment in their lives. I recently met with a group of men at a men's breakfast, and the subject was, what are you doing to create satisfaction and happiness in your life? And the common theme that went throughout the discussion was controlling their attitudes looking for the positives, being optimistic about life. I guess that's not new, that's been around for thousands of years, but to see it in action in the lives of people in their 70s and 80s is very exciting to me because it tells me that during these bonus years, the Center for Longevity at Stanford talks about can be rich, satisfying years for us all if we will engage ourselves, be uh, involved in our relationships, have meaning in our lives, having something significant to do, whether it's through our church, our service club, our community, or wherever we're able to do that. And then out of that, as we record what's what we're doing well, what we'd like to improve on, we can make our lives an exciting adventure. And I heard Dr. Eugene Jennings from Michigan State University saying a statement one time, you'll only live once. But he said, I wonder if you'd agree with me. If we do it right, once is enough.